Hi, I'm Rick Danforth, president of Tops Club. Last year, I did the first State of Tops Nation address as a way of letting membership know what has been accomplished, where we're at at this moment in time, and what to look forward to in the future. It's kind of like what presidents do with the State of Union address. So in 2022, it's my opinion that we were still under the fog of COVID. But despite that, we were able to accomplish many things. The rules and the TOPS guide, formerly known as the TOPS manual, was revised with longevity in mind. Uh, for so many years, the, these rules and guide were uh, revised and membership just didn't know what was gonna be changing. The, uh, the plan with this is that these revisions should at least last three to five years and hopefully longer. We had a membership fee increase in 2022, which was popular for some and not popular for others. And I will get into more of that uh, later on. We expanded the availability of our, for our online members by taking on two uh, new additional facilitators. So now there's more meetings available to them. We fine tuned the virtual chapter concept it was initially a thought that we would be able to create these virtual chapters from online members who wish to be in a smaller group. That didn't pan out. So we learned a few things and we discussed this with the field staff. And now coordinators will have the ability to start virtual chapters with the hopes of maybe getting members from disbanded chapters or members from rural areas where in-person chapters are too far away or folks who just can't fit the right time to go to a meeting, the flexibility of a virtual chapter will hopefully uh, resolve and solve their, uh, their needs. Tops Talks was a huge success, adding to our library of curated information for our members. Community Corner was introduced, reaching almost 50,000 of our members who have emails. Success stories used for publicity were all in the put in local markets. We continued to support obesity research and term limits were introduced for board of directors and voting members. All these were done to increase participation at different levels. So now here we are in 2023 and this is where we're starting from. Tops Club Incorporated has 26 employees. This is down one from the beginning of 2022 and well below what it was in 2018. We now have 69 coordinators and 338 advocates who serve as our field staff in independent contractor capacity. Membership is not at pre-COVID level. But we're hoping with the backdrop of celebrating our 75th anniversary, which will reintroduce our founder, Esther Manns, to our current members and introduce her for the first time to new members, that we'll be able to attain our number one goal for 2023. And that is returning our membership totals to pre-COVID levels. In order to accomplish this, we have several things to do. We need to expand revenue opportunities to help avoid fee increases. As I mentioned, I realized some of, some of these increases were not popular. They were a necessity that hadn't happened in a, quite a few years, but we definitely can expand uh, different or explore different avenues to increase our revenues so we can keep the membership fee low. We need to add three employees, one to the shipping department, one in general office, and one in IT. Uh, this will help us meet deadlines, which uh, sometimes we get frustrated when we're trying to work on a project for our membership and due to staffing shortages or delays, we weren't able to hit certain marks. We wanna do better in 2023. We need to continue our online presence uh, we need to get information directly to the members, and TOPS News is by far the best way to do so. But also, we're expanding the website, uh, changing different uh, different parts of it. Uh, that's taking some time because there are so many different layers on the website that need to be stripped away. 
we are going to enhance our YouTube channel and make better use of social media and email. We are going to, for the first time in 2023, hold meetings with our, our voting members. We're actually going to have a meet the candidate night when the uh, candidates are selected to run for the board of directors. I would like to have a national list of weight recorders so that if there's specific information, we'd like to get them to them quickly, we would have that. And this is just meant to enhance our lines of communication. Certainly the field staff do a great job in getting information to the chapters, but it doesn't hurt to sometimes repeat these messages or get them in, in the chapter or members hands from the ground up so that everybody has a chance to get that information. We all tend to get our information at diff different ways. Very important, like I mentioned early on, the TOPS guide, which formerly known as the chapter manual, has been revised. We're actually using the original name that Mrs. Manns used. She called it a chapter guide. Now we're using it TOPS guide, and we need to get that into the hands of our members. We did make our deadline on this, and I actually have a copy uh, right here. Uh, but unfortunately, there was something went wrong with the printers, and there was an error made. Uh, so they're doing a reprint, but we will be receiving uh, 6,000 copies to send to the chapters, and those should be going out next week. It is available on our website, and uh, the orders for the chapter the tops guide should be available by the end of, of next week we will continue our tops talk series to expand the education uh avenues that we want to show for our members uh, there is a lot of misinformation out there and the subject matter expert who experts who meet with us once a month really provide sound medical medically based information for our members I believe with these things in place, 2023 will be a banner year and that we can achieve our goal to getting our membership up to the pre-COVID level. Here are some things that I ask our membership to do. If you have email and you haven't received anything from us in a while, please check to make sure that the spelling is correct on your email address. If you have an email address and you haven't shared, shared it with us, please do so so we can get information out to you. Or, or also, if folks don't have an email or don't wish to share it and you get these information, share this information with the other members. Locally, if you see a success story in the newspaper, on, hear it on the radio or see it on your local TV station, share it with other folks in the area. And it wouldn't hurt to send a thank you note to the newspaper, to the radio station or TV station, thanking them for promoting TOPS. We cannot afford the advertising uh, cost to put getting it out on mainstream media. We just don't have that budget. But if we do this locally and thank these folks, then they'll be more willing to do so in the future. Invite former members, more members who probably left because of COVID, invite them back to the chapter. If they're unwilling or they're still not sure, show them what we have, show them a blog, show something on the website, share a community corner letter with them. And equally invite someone who could use TOPS. And if, again, if they're not willing, share some of the stuff that we have, have available so that maybe we'll encourage them to do so. And for the family and friends that you know who feel that they don't need the support services of TOPS, and there are some, yes, we understand that. Ask them to make a donation to TOPS on your behalf. If this way, they'll help support your mission and our mission and help us keep our costs down. It's a great way for them to be part of the battle against obesity. And again, it will help us keep our membership fees low. In conclusion, I, like other three, the other three presidents that succeeded Mrs. Manns, do our best to keep her dream alive. We want to make her proud. She is one of a kind, and no one ever tries to replace her. Last State of the Tops Nation address I did, I, I ended by quoting or paraphrasing a famous quote from President Kennedy, 
where he asked, asked not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. And I kind of turned it around and saying, just thinking of what Tops have done, has done for you in your life, what can you do for Tops? Well, this time, in honor of our founder, Mr. Mrs. Manns, I want to share a quote that she uh, put in one of her newsletters back in 1968, 20 years after she started Tops. And she wrote, personally, I feel no qualms about the future of TOPS. The gaps that were apparent will be rectified. My fellow members and to future members, I truly feel in my heart that this was a shout out to the future. It was her way of saying that she has confidence in all of us to keep TOPS going for all those who need it. She laid the groundwork to help us journey towards a healthier lifestyle and to take off pounds sensibly. Thank you.